STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. For many students, these subjects are their worst nightmare. But you won't find many complaining about the byproducts of these subjects. After all, life in this day and age would be impossible without STEM. This is why countries around the world, including ours, place great emphasis on STEM subjects. In Malaysia, the government has sought to boost the competencies of teachers and raise interest in STEM through learning activities. And it seems to be working. Sehingga Ogos 2023, data KPM menunjukkan bahawa peratusan enrolment murid STEM telah menunjukkan peningkatan daripada 40.95% pada tahun 2021 kepada 45.73% pada tahun 2023. For Yunus Yassin, the president of the Association of Science, Technology and Innovation, this is good news. It, it's not easy to achieve a 5% increase in a macro scale like this. So it, it's an amazing achievement. Uh, so my answer would to continue what you're doing. Whatever is it that you're doing, continue. And he's right. Malaysia has always struggled with low STEM participation rates. In June, National STEM Association President Noraini Idris said that there is a shortage of STEM graduates. And in some areas, the problem is more pronounced than others. For example, Malaysia's engineer-to-population ratio is 1 to 170 compared to the 1 to 100 ratio in developed countries. And having numbers in the STEM field is vital for the economy. What drives the economy is science and technology, and today even more so. Uh, so therefore, we need STEM graduates to be able to help drive the economy. Lah. Former Pematang Pao MP Nuro Iza Anwar also says that STEM is vital to boost innovation and tackle global challenges. And the government recognizes this. That's why it's ramping up efforts to boost STEM knowledge. Since 2018, a national association has been tasked with leading STEM activities across all educational levels. Additionally, there's a mentor mentee program that allows university students to mentor school students. But Nurul Iza believes more can be done. The Education Ministry can provide training and resources for teachers to integrate technology into STEM. The Ministry can also facilitate partnerships between teachers and professionals working in STEM. Uh, this involves inviting guest speakers, organising field trips to STEM-related workplaces or arranging for professionals to mentor students. Natasha Bust, FMT News.